Uncle Bob here. I'm sitting on the ground working on this Honda HRC 216K2 HXA. Uh, working on the little drive shafts. Found the problem of why it snapped off in the motor. It's because of the outer CV joint was bad as well. Uh, but not bad where you would think. You would think it would snap here or here. It would, but this part got froze. So if you're interested in uh, seeing how this turns out, or how to fix this, or, or what, the pro what caused the problem, that's the main thing. Uh, stay tuned, we'll get right into it. So, the Honda HRC 216, it's a GXV 160 engine. Y'all remember back, uh, the drive shaft was broken inside the engine, so this part wasn't turning when the engine was turning. We got the engine back together, you gasket there, and when you pull on it, you can see it. it well, it is turning, I promise you. But uh, what we were wondering about was the. See, it's turning. What we were wondering about was the uh, what caused this. So I found out what caused it. So I'm gonna take you to this. This is the inside of the bottom of the moor. And this is the transmission, and right there that sticks out, you see that hole? That's where the uh, CV joint attaches on the transmission end. And if you notice, when you raise and lower the, the wheels, the transmission goes up and down, right? Okay. So keep that in mind. So, this is a new used drive shaft, and this is the end that would hook onto the transmission. And then this end hooks onto the uh, shaft, output shaft coming out of the engine. And it's got a hole, they hook up the same way, put a drive pin through here, and then there's a clamp that goes around it to keep it from falling out. Well, as you raise and lower the seat, this has to have the ability to stretch and compress, right? And it's a uh, spline, just fits in that shaft like there's spline. Well, this is the old one that came off of it. And you see how it's all rusted up. It won't even move at all. So what happened is he ra tried to raise the wheels up all the way. And since this didn't have any play in it, it put a bind on that shaft in there and it just snapped that pin off. Wallered it out, snapped it off. Anyway, so we're going to put this drive shaft I happen to have on, which is going to be an extra charge, Mr. Edgar. So we've replaced the inside shaft and gear and now we're going to replace this as well while we're at it. And uh, But you see how, so as you raise it, it's got to be able to expand. So I don't know if it just got dirt up in here and froze up or what, but it won't move at all. So therefore, it put it in a bind. Anyway, thought that was interesting. So another lesson learned here on Jungle Bob Repair. If you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you hadn't done so already and ring the bell so you can catch all my new videos. I appreciate you guys watching. I know it's been a while since I had a video. Been busy. Uh, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hope everybody had a happy Halloween. Jungle Bob out.